Hello everybody, Go Away here, bringing you yet another episode of Ace Academy. As usual, if you're new to this channel or new to this series, I highly, highly recommend you going to the playlist link in the annotations above or in the description below and starting from episode 1 and working your way up until the current episode. Or if you just missed yesterday or the previous episode, hit that previous button in the annotations above and start from there. Now, without further ado, let us continue with the story. If I can find my cursor, that is. <laughs> my mouse has really been acting up recently and I can't really... Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's been acting up recently and it just doesn't load. It's, it's a razor and it's not exactly that good. <laughs> On that note, we better get back to searching. So basically what happened was, Sho called us up as a brosef and as a brosef, we came to help him out in his time of need. He needed us to help him pick out a gift for his girlfriend, Mayu. Right. I helped Sho pick out the perfect present for his lady friend. He ended up going with my advice and buying Mayu the newest fantasy bestseller. As we exit the store, Sho has a spring in his step, but he seems both nervous and hopeful. I hope she ends up liking her present. We say our goodbyes in the parking lot. Since I didn't have any class today, I've got even more free time than usual. What do I feel like doing? Well, this is a Kauri Let's Play or a playthrough, so... I don't know about... No, <laughs> Kauri. I wonder what Kauri is up to. I pull out my phone and give her a call. Hello. Hey, Kauri. Hi. Wow. Are you busy? I'm just about to head to the daycare. It's going to be an extra busy day. Extra busy? Yeah. We're understaffed since one person is on vacation and another person called in sick. Maybe I can help? Dot dot dot. Hello? If that's what you want, then I guess you can help. Awesome! Let's go! But don't forget it still work. Um, why would I forget that? Are you sure you're not the one who's gonna forget? Yes, ma'am! Don't start this again. Alright, Miss Cow, I mean Miss Itami. Yes. Carrie disconnects the call before I can finish. Rude! Oh well, I better not be late or Cowrie will be angry. I find my bike and drive to the daycare. When I arrive, Kauri is nowhere to be found. I follow a group of adults into the building. Wow, doesn't this kind of look like the library? Lazy much tissue, huh? <laughs> They're either parents or staff, but either way, they'll get me where I need to be. Considering that there are no kids tagging along, I think it's safe to say that they're staff. We pass through one of the children's playrooms and continue into an office in the back. Carrie is there with another guy discussing something I can't hear. She nods in and greet no, she nods in greeting when I enter. Once everyone gets situated, the guy clears his throat. Hello everyone. I know we haven't had one of these staff meetings in a while, but it's going to be a bit busy today since Daichi is on vacation and Hibiki called in sick. Is he like the head teacher? Luckily, Kaori's friend has offered to help out, so we'll only be short one man instead of two. Everyone stares at me as he smiles in my direction. Uh, hi! I'm Jeff Gamings! Happy to, happy to help! Glad to meet you. I'm Eito Iwasa. Where are you? Since we'll have to do a little shuffling with coverage, here are everyone's roles for today. Ito checks his clipboard and goes down a list of names. Kauri watches silently as Ito takes charge. Once he's finished, he looks at me. Since you're from Ace, we'll have you tutoring the older kids. I nod. Kaori and I will attend to the toddlers and younger kids. Wait, Kauri won't be in tutoring with me? Don't say anything, it's no big deal. I want to be assigned with Kauri. Hmm. <sighs> What do I want to say? I want to be assigned with Kauri. Is there any way I could help Kauri with the younger kids? The group starts whispering to each other. I guess I look like that guy. Wait, what? That? what's that guy? I, I don't understand. K 
Carrie glares at me in warning, but Ito remains calm. I don't mind switching if that's what you're more comfortable with. How much experience do you have with younger kids? I don't know. Do you count a little little sister as, uh, you know, experience with younger kids? Not much. A few months? Less? He frowns. Mm, the younger children need a lot more attention and guidance than the older kids. Carrie snaps before Ito can continue. You can take care of the older kids. Ito and I have more experience, so we will take care of the younger kids. I can tell Kari is annoyed. I'm not pleased either, but I bite my tongue. They have a point. I don't have any experience with younger young children, and it'd be irresponsible of them to no, of them to place me in there. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. But come on, I came here so that I can see Kari. Fine. With everyone's roles assigned, the group slowly disperses. One of the staff members offers to take me to the tutoring room. I thank them and follow her into... I thank them. I thank her and follow her into the... I think that's what they meant. Follow her into a room filled with children between 4th and 6th grade. Seeing a new face, the, kid, the kids kept interrupting me to ask questions about myself. They were especially curious about... No, curious because I didn't look very Japanese. What, what, I mean, seriously, what is a Japanese person supposed to look like? Show made the first, like, the same first impression. They're like, oh my god, you must be a new transfer student. Well, at least he's my bro stuff now, so I'm okay with that. They asked about where I was from, what was it like back home, and what was it like to be a pilot. I tried hard to keep their focus on their homework, but it was a, lo a lot tougher than I expected. Finally, I gave up and answered their questions. Once their questions were out of the way, they were able to focus on their homework. Although they they, they tried hard, most of the children had difficulty uh, grasping the material. I could tell that they were frustrated, so I tried to think of different ways of explaining the same thing, which helped immensely. I remember when I used to be a tutor <laughs> in, in either the summer school program or even just uh, as a private tutor. It was quite hard dealing with younger kids especially if you were one of those that actually understood things really quickly as a kid it's hard to teach the ones that didn't understand as well because even if you try to teach them your method it's not always the right one so i mean even the teachers who were in charge at the time had a little bit of trouble but they knew like almost 90 percent of the students and how to teach them so when i tried to do it myself i was like oh man this is so hard i can finally see why people give so much respect to being teachers and stuff because I could never do it myself. Well, I can be like a TA, but I would never be able to be a full-blown teacher. <laughs> I hope my rambling didn't kill everything, but yeah, continuing on. I understand why Carrie is so adamant to be there for these kids, even when she's exhausted. After a while, it looks like everyone is, at, is on track. Knowing that Ito and Carrie are alone together still makes me uneasy. I'll go see how Carrie is doing. It doesn't take me long to find the younger kids. All I had to do was follow the sound of shrieks and laughter. I gently push open the door and see Carrie surrounded by children. Both of her arms are full of kids and one hangs off her back. The rest hug her legs. Although Carrie weakly protests, the huge smile on her face gives away her true feelings. That is so cute. Do you see the one over here? Oh my god, the one that's by her legs right now, the one with the, uh, the ahoge. That little thing that's sticking out of her hair. <laughs> that is so cute. Do you see her eyes? They're, they're using the greater than and less than signs. I've never seen her this happy before. A chorus of Miss Carrie circles her as the children compete for her attention. Suddenly, the children, the child of Carrie's back slips with a sharp yelp. She grabs a strap of Carrie's clothes. Careful. The strap, the strap falls off her shoulder as she bends down at the child, so the child can land softly on the table. Man, I, I can't. Got it. Man, I can't read today. Ato gently pushes the strap back onto Kaori's shoulder. I wait in secret glee for the impending doom Ato has inflicted upon himself by touching her, but to my surprise, Kaori doesn't react. Ha! As Ato tries to take one of the kids out of Kaori's hands, the child looks at Ato for a second, then burrows her face into Carrie's shoulder. Carrie laughs. I don't think she wants to leave anytime soon. Ato laughs. I can't really blame her. 
If it were anyone else, Carrie would have slapped them for touching her so intimately. Confront Ato, talk to Carrie in private, don't do anything. My god, why do I feel like if I pick this one, I'll be like the jealous boyfriend? Holy damn. God dang it. Ah! I don't know. What should I do, guys? Sometimes I feel like maybe it's better just to not do anything, but I want to see what happens if I talk to her in private. She'll probably say she's busy. Watch. I stride into the room, carry glasses as I approach, and her smile falters. She looks at me with curiosity and concern. Can we talk? My tone must have been severe because she blinks in surprise, then nods and places the children back on the ground. I'll be right back, Aito. Oh god, I hope I don't sound like a jealous prick. No problem, we'll be fine, right kids? The children had gone quiet when I entered, but Aito's overenthusiasm brings them back to life. Aw, oh, they're scared of me. Carrie leads me through the hallway outside the room. As soon as we're outside, my emotions get the better of me and I can't hold it anymore. What was that? What was that? I, I think you mean what was what? <laughs> Eito was touching you and you didn't even care. She furrows her brow. Huh? What are you talking about? He put your strap back on. Oh my god. <laughs> when I said speak in private, I didn't think this was what was going to happen, but okay. Carrie looks at me like I'm an idiot. And now that I've said it out loud, I feel like one too. Why would I care about that? Because! Because why? Although I'm <laughs> I'm bubbling inside, I can't find the words to explain myself and silently fume. Just because. Carrie scowls and lets out a frustrated sigh. You aren't making any sense. You're acting like a... Like a what? She freezes and glances sharply at me. Then she looks away as she blushes. H hold on! Aito and I just work together! Wait, did she finally understand? You and I are... Her cheeks are beet red. You know. <laughs> Carrie grabs my hand and squeezes it gently. I relax slightly at her touch. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> So I did sound like a jealous prick. That's not what I wanted to happen, guys. She still doesn't make eye contact, but her look has softened completely, making her seem strangely vulnerable. Seeing her exposed like that makes me feel silly for acting jealous. Okay. We stand in awkward silence before Eito pops his head out. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but the kids are getting restless without you, Kaori. This happens every time they see you first. They forget all about me. <laughs> Carrie blinks then chuckles. Alright. She gives me one last reassuring look, then heads back inside with the kids. Eito lingers beside me. Is everything okay? Yeah, my girlfriend and I had to talk about something. Eito's eyes widen when he hears girlfriend. Hey man, I'm really sorry. She doesn't talk about her personal life, so I had no idea. Otherwise, I would never. Well, you know now. So back off and we'll be just fine. That sounded a lot more curt than I intended, but he doesn't seem offended. He nods. After a short pause, he speaks again. You are one very lucky guy. <laughs> yes, I am. I know. With this misunderstanding cleared up, I return to my older kids and continue to help with tutoring. Another hour passes by in a blur, and before long, the parents trickle in to collect their children. The kids whine that they want to stay longer with Miss Cowrie, but their parents urge them home. After all the kids have gone, the staff wave goodbye to each other and pack up to go home too. Well, we're hitting close to that 15 minute mark, so as usual, I will save the game right now. Thank you all for joining me! If you like the content I've provided, please hit that like button! And if you want to keep up with my latest uploads and content, as I do upload every single day, I highly, highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button down below. And, last but not least, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode of Ace Academy. Thank you very much, and goodbye!